And you know what I mean? I spoke briefly about it in um, a recording. I want to say it was either last year or earlier this year. But um, I did speak briefly about this concept of like, you know, as far as like, you know, I mean, all my life, like it, it was it, it was it was strange because, uh, you know, looking at things on a spiritual standpoint and a supernatural, that's what I just recorded pretty much from it started from a spiritual standpoint. And it's to say that, you know, God did fulfill his end of the bargain. You know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, the prophecy, you know, concerned, you know, God fulfilled his end of the bargain to humanity. And um, when he sent, you know, a prophet, you know, uh, in, the latter, in the latter times. And, uh, I mean, I wasn't dealt very bountifully with, you know, and, uh, it's been a lot of pain and suffering and grief. And, um, but I don't look at it in bitterness, you know, um, but what it did was open my eyes to, you know, it made me, you know, reflect on my life, you know, from really as far back as I can remember possible, like all the way to my, those years, like, like as far as like, um, it's close back to my toddler years that I can think back. And um, I, and I just think about my life, you know, sometimes, you know, um, and and and, it, and it's something because it's like all my life, it's like I didn't understand it, you know. I always had like, and I, I, yeah, that's what I spoke about it, and I always had like this, this, uh, you know, this. It was a joy, you feel me? That that that, that I just had, you know. It was a joy that, which is automatically, uh. It was like by default, and I ain't really understand it, you know. But I understand it now because what what will be revealed to me later is actually the joy that I felt was the. It was like the. How can I put it? It's, it's like saying a positive energy, of, of of the synergy, of those who were in favor of God's righteous cause. It's like a way that, you know, it was, like for instance, promises. It was in, intangible, like an intangible hope that was fingerprinted on my soul, you know, for God had anointed me for a particular purpose for the people, you know. And that's where it came, this concept of all the promises. You feel me? So much promises, you know, good stuff that was... uh. You know, it's like a situation that whenever the the the, the, uh, the servant of God came, that that was in a prophecy. It was, you know, there always been people that followed God, and it was like, well, whenever, you know, what I'm saying the servant of God do come, then this, you know, this this child is gonna get the blessings. You feel me? Like um, all types of blessings. You feel me? The joy. The fun, the good times, you feel me? The good energy, you know, the happiness, you know what I'm saying? Above it, like, this guy is going to get the best, you know, uh, you know, what the world, you know what I'm saying? You know, what the world has to offer. And it turns out that was like, it's an intangible hope. And it's like I was born and then I was, you know, it was like a, uh, an expectation that I had, you know, it was a hope, you know, and so for the longest I can remember, that stayed with me for a while, you know, and and then, you know, of course it was gone, and um, I lived in anticipation, you know what I'm saying, for the longest, and that was the reason. Now, what the confusing part came later, when I got a little older, you know, from, I mean, and, you know, looking at it from the perspective of the person going through it, not necessarily from, you know, how or who are these influences or, or, you know, who, what people, place of things were responsible for the defilement of, you know, this a purpose that God had, you know, um, you know, through, I mean, God works through people. That's his, you know, God uses, so he created humans, you know, uh. And so, I mean, I was always in anticipation, 
you feel me, of that, you know, hope. And the confusing part came when I got older, you know, and the energy that I started getting, you know, like, it conflicted. For, I mean, because I knew, like, I would learn that, you know, there's good and bad, you feel me, over time. I would learn that there's good and bad in the world, and I would learn that there's danger, you know. And then there is people that want to hurt you. And then there's people that, that, that are nice and kind. You feel me? I learned the difference through experience, you know. And I mean, I would learn over time that when I got older, that expectation, anticipation I had for that, you know, that intangible fingerprint of hope, you know, through, I guess, the, the soul of the people, you know, it it drew it drove me on to a certain point to where I started seeing something strange happen, and what started happening was that 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 light, you know, that energy that I once, you feel me, you know, I, I instead like it, in like a one eighty, you know, like in the total, it's, it's crazy. It's like I started to see my hope. That I had, you know, that I've been talking about, it started to be, you know, portrayed, if I can say that, like somebody else, like somebody else, you know, like it started to be portrayed, like when, when, if somebody else see it, you know, their perception of it was entitlement. You see what I'm saying now? See? You see now? Out of nowhere, the general energy I started getting from society was that 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 right there, that hope, that joy, you know, was now being being perceived by others as entitlement alone. At the very point in time when I would get into a position to be able to start, you know what I'm saying, to start officially, like, really pursuing my dreams, you know, whether it been artistically, especially artistically, you know, uh, and this was before I even knew that there was already, I had already had you know, attention on me, you know, or fame those years, way before, because of the power of God that was seen on my life back then. Totally unbeknownst, you know, uh, but from my perspective, you know, I seen, so I, I was conflicted, because then I had to learn what entitled me, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had to learn what this means now. You know, so it's like so I started seeing it everywhere I look. And then and from that point on, it was like a gateway situation. Because after that, I started seeing tons of different things, like just coming at me, like left and right. And the energy was not good, and I could not explain it. I didn't know, I, I didn't know then that, that I was being slandered by, you know, sh- powerful powerful strangers you know without my knowledge and i mean i, I at the time i you know get a, a insult i had to learn what it means and and i you know it just was a constant thing you know i'm learning and trying to figure out like okay i'm i'm, I'm reading my stuff you know i'm like what is going on you know i'm promoting the gospel in my earliest works and so i'm looking at like what is it you know within this people on um you know I'm, I'm i'm you know i'm linking with well i'm not really linking but i'm meeting people you know uh and my whole situation was you know motivating others you know to pursue their dreams and be great and things like that you know so i kind of cliche now but <laughs> that's what i was on you know motivating and you know spreading good energy and stuff and i mean that's all i was doing at some point, I mean, I didn't really have, you know, because all I had really was that, you know, the pursuit of my dreams through the platforms that I had at the time. And it, it were expanding now, doing pretty well from what I could see, 
you know, <laughs> I mean, artistically, and I mean, it just went topsy turvy. I mean, and uh, and it just uh, over time, it hollowed out. You know that that hope I had. You know, like that. I mean, you know, it took. It changed the way I looked at the world forever, you know. I mean, you, you know, don't look, this, yeah, I mean, I, it, it's, it's, you know, every now and then, you know, I have, I'll be able to have flashbacks of what I believe, you know, because I don't know the specific, you know, the specific very day, you know, which somebody decided, you know, when I was, you know, in my, in my childhood, your know, youth, whatever, that, you know, the influences, people, places, and things decided that uh, I would undergo this, you know, cruel treatment for the rest of my life, you know, and things like that. I don't know what day that was, you know, but I can remember times, you know, when you know, there was like the absence of, you know, contempt. You know, of, of you know, and for what my life has become, that's all I really know. So things like that means a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? So that's like I can remember before, you know what I'm saying, the suffering started. And coincidentally, you know, God will reveal from us around the same time period. You know what I'm saying? When my Omega was still here and things. You feel me? So it's like before, you know, I guess people decided that I was fit to be um, a lick. You feel me? Or like a scam, you know, from, for the, you know, to get to, to get a profit from. No pun intended, you know. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, I know I made a recorded uh, along the lines of this uh, talking about you know those years and all that recently I made a lot of recordings recently so <laughs> but yeah kind of like a carry on to that though you know what I mean yeah man I reflect back on this uh but that's what it was it was like it's promises of, you know, good things. But in reality, I got, you know, this. <laughs> you feel me? So and it's not nobody's fault. You know, it's, it's just, uh, well, it's not no, no, you know, it's not the fault of God's people. I put it like that, the good people. <laughs> you know, it's not the, the fault of good people. So you know, knowing that if they knew then what they know now, most good people, you know, would have, you know, tried to help. But I mean, they just. You know, I mean. But, you know, just slowly but surely, just, you know, shedding light on any type of obscurity. Thoroughly. I love truth. I love light. I love transparency. You know?